Begin by finding a position that feels comfortable for you and your body right now. Maybe it's sitting in a chair or on a cushion. Maybe it's lying down. In any case, allow your body to become comfortable. And as you settle into that posture, take a moment to enjoy that comfort, even if it's small. Enjoy the comfort of being supported by the ground. Taking some weight off your body. Take a moment to scan your body to see if there's any muscular tension that's present at this time. We often hold tension in the muscles of our body. Take a look through your body and see if that's present for you right now. Perhaps in the jaw or the shoulders, the arms, the hips, the legs. If you find muscular tension anywhere in your body, gently invite that tension to relax, to loosen, to let go. Relax your body. There's a relief that comes with relaxation, kind of pleasure. And it's subtle and it may be small, but there is pleasure that comes with relaxation. See if you can find that as you relax. And if you'd like, if it feels good for you, invite a gentle, easy smile to your face. It doesn't have to be a huge grin. You don't have to be beaming with joy. Just a gentle, easy smile. Allowing your body to incline your mind towards happiness. Allow your body to become comfortable and relaxed with a gentle, easy smile on your face. Take a moment just to enjoy that being in your body. And having prepared your body for loving kindness practice, begin to prepare your mind. Consider and reflect on different things in your life that can summon or bring up a sense of gratitude. As 
something like, I feel grateful for the food that I had to eat today. Or I feel grateful for the friends in my life. Or anything that's particular to you and your living situation or that resonates for you. Whatever makes you have that sense of gratitude. Consider and reflect on these things and say them in your mind. I feel grateful for this and I feel grateful for that. Continue to cultivate this sense of gratitude for another moment. Very good. Now, bring to mind someone who's relatively easy for you to feel love for. Your easy to love person or animal. See them in your mind's eye and visualize them being happy. Perhaps laughing or smiling playing, perhaps bringing up a specific memory that you shared with them, or just imagining what it would be like for them to be happy. You're cultivating an attitude of well-wishing and love, just wanting someone else to be happy. Just pure goodwill and love. Not for any particular reason. Not to fulfill any condition, contract, but just because, because you want them to be happy. If it's helpful, instead of the images or in addition to the images, you can use phrases, phrases like, I love you, or I care about you, or I want you to be so happy, or any phrase that resonates for you, perhaps something specific to this person and your relationship with them. But whether you use images or talk, simply cultivate this attitude of love and well-wishing.
Cultivate the desire that this person would be happy. As you do this, you may find that feelings of love and joy and care arise in your body, perhaps in your heart center or around your smile or in some other part of your body. If you feel that love in your body, notice that and really enjoy it. Enjoy the feeling of love and care even if it's small. Even though you're wishing that someone else would be happy, it turns out that that desire can also make you happy, can also fill you with love so wholesome, it's a pure form of happiness. So notice that and really enjoy it. In a moment, we'll transition to directing this love towards different parts of ourselves, different parts of our mind. But as we do that, see if you can maintain this attitude of well-wishing and love. See if you can maintain the feelings of love and joy that may have arisen in your body, even as we transition. Very good. Now, we're going to try to connect to some part of our mind, some aspect of ourselves. These show up as thoughts and feelings, perhaps recurring thoughts about a specific person or situation, or a recurring feeling in the body, perhaps a feeling of anger or grief shame, confusion, anything at all, even a positive part. This part might be something that you're feeling presently at this time or something that came up recently, perhaps in the past few days. See if you can connect to that either, something that's present for you now or something that showed up recently for you. If you're not sure, you can just take a guess. No harm in taking a guess. For this practice period, we're going to treat this part of ourselves like a person inside of ourselves. 
person that deserves love and respect, care and attention. See if you can take that attitude towards this part. Like a person showed up in your life and you're just noticing them, watching them and listening to them with love and respect. See if you can notice this person and greet them. Say hello. Hi there. How are you? And listen to what they have to say to you. Just listen patiently and respectfully. Greeting them and listening to what they have to say to you. And this part, this person inside of you may very well have something to say to you. So see if you can listen to that respectfully, if it has something to share with you. Simply listening is already an act of deep love. As you listen to this part, see if you can direct the same attitude of love and care towards this part that you directed towards your easy to love person or animal. You could say, I love you and I care about you. Or anything else that you think might be reassuring for this part. Or you could simply bring up these feelings of loving kindness in your body and direct them towards this part. Of course, you can do anything else that seems like it might be helpful to this part. Different parts need different kinds of love at different times. So feel free to be creative. In any case, try to direct love and care towards this part giving it what it needs.
Simply love this part of yourself. As you attend to this part, it may have something further that it wants to say to you, or it may have some kind of request. If it's useful, you can continue to converse with this part or to play with it, dance with it in a way that responds to its needs. That's a form of love as well. Whatever you do, continue to cultivate this attitude of love towards this part of yourself. You can simply say, I love you. I care about you. I understand. Understand what you're going through. You can direct feelings of love towards it, or you can respond to its specific needs and concerns. In any case, cultivate love and respect for this part of yourself.
Take a moment to thank this part of yourself. To thank it for sharing itself with you and for everything that it does for you. Thank this part of yourself. And finally, take a moment to look back on this practice period. What was it like for you? What happened? Did you learn anything new? Did you face any challenges? Take a moment to consider and reflect. As you're ready, at your own pace, you can come out of the meditation.